Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some really interesting things to go over. New Nintendo Switch 2 leaks have popped up. We also have a new trailer rumor in January for Pokemon Legends EA and a few other things to cover as well. Plenty of things to break down today. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Strong at 500 likes really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Subscribe if you're brand new. Let's get into the video. So, starting things off, before we take a look at the Nintendo Switch 2 leaks, I quickly wanted to go over this post here from Jeanne, who makes a really good point about a potential cancelled Pokemon Presents that we should have got uh, very recently. So we have Jeanne here saying, Considering there are animated trailers for Shiny Rayquaza's raid, which there was, obviously we had Shiny Rayquaza kind of flying through Paldea uh, with certain characters and stuff, something that you would see in like a presentation, which obviously they've done with the past, obviously with the Mew and the Mewtwo raid. We did get like a small sort of video for that where they're fighting each other. That was for the Mewtwo raid. Now we have a Shiny Rayquaza video that's randomly been dropped out of nowhere. I know it was the two year anniversary, but it was still dropped like without us really expecting it. Um, so we had that and then accompanied with merch and appearance in spin-off games such as Pokemon Masters, Pokemon Unite. Um, I now believe there was a presents planned but cancelled for whatever reason, to delay ZA news, causing Shiny Rayquaza news to come out by itself. So obviously this is in regards to Riddler Koo saying, you know, uh, because of the irresponsible hackers, we were supposed to get news in October, and then it was pushed back to January. Potentially in October, we were supposed to get a Pokemon Presents, where they were going to drop the Shiny Rayquaza raid with the video, uh, they were going to drop Legend ZA trailer, which apparently we were supposed to get in October, and they were also going to drop a couple of other things as well, because... It has been day to mind that we're getting new characters in Pokemon Unite and stuff like that. So I, I definitely think it it makes sense that, you know, we potentially might have got a, a Pokemon Presents. Obviously, we were expecting one in August because that's when we usually get them. But this year has been a little bit different uh, in terms of there not being a game this year. So we thought that if there was going to be one, it would be pushed back. And potentially it was going to be in October around that time. Maybe, again, it wasn't confirmed or anything. But the fact that there was a Mewtwo video... For the Mewtwo raid, uh, there was a Rayquaza video for the Rayquaza raid, just like there was a Mewtwo video for the Mewtwo raid, which wasn't a Pokemon Presents. It does make you think a little bit that, hey, potentially we were going to get this trailer and it was going to be part of a Pokemon Presents, but it's now been pushed back. Again, we still are expecting a trailer in January because of what Riddler Koo has said, um, but at the end of the day, it, it doesn't really make that much sense because why would we go all this time without anything and then they drop a trailer in January and then in February? For me, it doesn't make sense, but apparently that's going to be the case according to Riddler Koo. So I wanted to quickly go over that. Moving on, we have some Nintendo Switch 2 leaks to go over. We've got Game Rant here tweeting out saying, A leaker suggests that Nintendo is getting ready to ship a massive number of Nintendo Switch 2 consoles when the system is ready to launch. So... Let's take a look what this means. So, rumor Nintendo preparing to ship huge number of Switch 2 consoles for launch. So, they say a new rumor suggests that the follow up to the Nintendo Switch could have many more consoles available at launch than its predecessor. Details are still scarce, especially considering Nintendo has not even formally revealed the Switch 2 yet. But one user on the Nintendo forum, Fami Boards, claims to have inside information. While they didn't offer a specific number, they did say the next-gen Switch will have a much larger release than the Switch. Numbers are now being reported about this. Apparently, it's like 2.5 times the amount of consoles that are being shipped out for the Nintendo Switch 2 as compared to the Switch 1. And obviously, that's to stop scalpers and stuff. We saw the issues with PlayStation 5. You know, you, you had to pay a lot more than the retail market price to get a PlayStation 5 when that console originally came out. Hopefully, the Switch 2 is not going to be in that situation because it is one of the best-selling consoles of all time, the Nintendo Switches. So you'd like to think that people are going to buy the better version of it. So they don't want stock to be kind of like not meeting demand basically when this console comes out so nintendo has confirmed that we'll announce the switch 2 before march 2025 which is when its current fiscal year ends beyond that though the company has remained uh quiet about the console its official name specs games and release date are all still a matter of speculation amid the silence the rumor mill has churned almost non-stop so this latest rumor comes from family boards user uh, nin spider so early on November the 20th, Ninspider posted a cryptic message on a Switch 2 speculation thread. The message looks like gibberish at first, but when translated from Base64, which is a binary based code, it says Nintendo is planning to produce around yeah, 2.5 times as many Switch 2 consoles as it did for the original Switch's release for the US market. So that's just the US market as well. We still have obviously all the other countries and stuff that are going to be wanting to buy the Switch, but if they're going to be doing 
2.5 times the amount of Switch 2 consoles in the US, you'd like to think they'll do roughly the same number in everywhere else because there's going to be a demand for this console in the whole world. Um, considering how the Switch became Japan's best-selling console of all time, that could mean Nintendo has high expectations for its follow-up system. And then the Switch 2 uh, could break new ground. So whether Ninspider really has the inside scoop or not is yet to be seen. I think they did get other things right as well, which is why a lot of people are expecting this to be true. And we have also heard reports that, and I think even from Nintendo as well, saying they are going to make sure that, you know, th there is enough stock, you know, that, that is going to meet the demand. Like, Nintendo themselves has said that. And now we've got this leaker saying that it's kind of all adding up to, to kind of be truthful. Uh, still, it would make sense for Nintendo to ramp up production on the Nintendo Switch 2 compared to its first hybrid console. The original Switch was difficult for some gamers to get their hands on when it first came out. And buyer enthusiasm over new tech has only gotten higher since then. Consider how the PlayStation Portal sold out ahead of its release in many areas. Regardless of how many systems it produces at launch, Nintendo could make some big moves with its next console. If Nintendo's recent patents are anything to go by, the new system could have uh, rotating cable connectors, improved Joy-Cons, and a more functional UI. One of the few confirmed details is that the Nintendo Switch 2 will have backwards compatibility, which is obviously what Nintendo themselves have said, making the bridge between consoles easier. That could also mean hardware improvements in the Nintendo Switch 2's accessories could benefit players still using a first generation Switch. Now that's also just speculation at this point. While much is still unclear, fans will likely learn more within the next few months as the fiscal year draws to a close. So, good news coming out of the kind of rumor mill today about the, uh, the kind of production of, of this console is going to be 2.5 times higher than the Nintendo Switch. So, if you are trying to get this as soon as it comes out, you're very likely to get one. Or at least you'd like to think so. There will still be scalpers and stuff. It will get sold out in certain places. But your big retailers, you'd like to think you'd be able to get your hands on one. Um, again, if you're on it, like if you're kind of checking the pre-orders and stuff, then you, you should be fine. Because if they're making this many, you'd like to think you'll get one. But anyway, that's all the Nintendo Switch 2 leaks that I wanted to cover. Finishing things off for today's video, we do have a new 4chan post regarding a trailer in January. Now, of course, that is what Riddler Koo has said. So this could literally just be piggybacking off what Riddler Koo has said. Uh, but either way, it was posted on 4chan. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt as always. It was posted on the 21st of November and it says January trailer posted by Anonymous. Uh, the image is just Legend ZA with the Lumios image in the background. And it says, Legends EA trailer in January. Uh, it was supposed to be in October, but was pushed back. Again, exactly what Riddler Koo has said. So this person obviously, I mean, it, it's not making this sound any more fake, but it, it does seem like they're just piggybacking off what Riddler Koo has said. Uh, but they're using the same trailer, but altering things slightly. Here's what I know. So the trailer we were going to get in October, they're going to use in January, but they're just altering things slightly, which, I mean... <sighs> If they were going to do that, they'd probably just drop the trailer now. I, I feel like they're probably just going to scrap the trailer. If we were going to get one on October, they're probably just going to scrap it. Um, because there's no reason as to why they couldn't drop that now. So they're probably going to scrap that, do a mini trailer in January. Maybe like meeting the starters. And then in February, I'm expecting Mega Evolutions, uh, loads of characters, stuff like that. Uh, that's going to be the big trailer because obviously it's Pokemon Day. We may even get Generation 10 announced on Pokemon Day as well. That is something that's also kind of... Uh, coming more and more likely, especially what Riddler Koo has said, because he's saying like he can't believe how quick they're working on uh, Generation 10 and how like early they're going to announce and stuff like that. So we could get Legend ZA, Pokemon Presents, and then also Generation 10 and that Pokemon Presents as well. But again, we, we, definitely Legend ZA, maybe Generation 10. We'll have to wait and see. So uh, the starters are going to be revealed, which is obviously shock. Uh, they are the Kalo starters, and they are all on a table looking at the protagonist, and they reach out. Uh, for one of them, think Let's Go Pichu and Eevee. So, I'm assuming you have Fennekin, Chessman, Froakie on a table, and then the protagonist reaches out for one of them. So, obviously, that's what happens in, like, Let's Go Pichu and Eevee. There's, like, a, a clip of, like, the that kind of zooms into the player, and then, obviously, as they're kind of going towards Pikachu or Eevee. Um, so, that's, yeah, I mean, I assume that would be, like, a sort of uh, video clip, I, 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 like an animation that plays. Uh, shows riding through the city on a go-goat, uh, can't jump or anything though. It's just basically used as a form of getting around the city quicker. It would be weird if you could jump to be fair. I mean, I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't be the craziest thing. But yeah, jumping. I don't know. Maybe yeah. Maybe you're just kind of like walking fast through the city. Something like that. 
It also shows fast travel for the city, but this will be a taxi service, not a Pokemon. Obviously, taxis are in Lumio, so if this is set in the future, I'd like to expect them to still have taxis. Uh, and that would be fast travel, which does also make sense. I mean, it was basically fast travel in X and Y. You just had to pay for it. Um, but yeah, it kind of cancels out the go-go situation. Unless the city is that big, like it might take like five minutes to get to like one point to another point, whereas you could just fast travel and get there in seconds. Uh, then it says, set 15 years after Kalos. So I'm, I'm assuming that's after X and Y. And the trailer has multiple characters returning. So Sycamore returns and Serena to name a few, but they obviously look older. So 15 years in the future. Yeah, I mean, it, it does make sense. It's what a lot of us are now kind of leaning towards it being set in the future. That's what Riddler Koo has kind of been al uh, alluding to, stuff like that. Again, we don't know how it's all going to work because we've had literally no information about it. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm not ruling out the future or the past or, or just time travel between both. That could also be an option. Uh, the graphics is very similar to Scarlet and Violet, which is also what Riddler Koo has said, but the UI is the same as Legends Arceus. So the sprites used, the PC box, etc. all the same. So I really liked the kind of UI in Legends Arceus, uh, where it wasn't actually a sprite, but it was more of like a close-up of the Pokemon in the box, um, which I really hope they actually bring back, because I thought that was a really cool... Um, it just looked really, really nice, and I really hope that that's the same thing. And I really hope that you can have, um, what's it called, like mass release as well, they had it in Legends Arceus, great feature, then they got rid of it in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which made no sense. It's so useful. Especially, like, why would they have the mass release option in a game that you can't breed in as well? Like, I get that obviously you're catching so many Pokemon, so mass releasing is very, very useful. But in Scarlet and Violet, like, when you're breeding for Shinies or whatever, and you've got, like, 300 Pokemon to get rid of, it's so annoying having to transfer them all into Pokemon Home and then delete them. Just give us a mass release option. It's so much more easier. It just makes life easier. Uh, it shows catching Pokemon in the city. Uh, they are expanding Lumios, but areas they are expanding into haven't been secured yet. And this is where you catch Pokemon and also fight bosses. So that's a kind of a cool idea. So let's say you start off in this section. And then there's another section that you have to secure so you can start building onto it. But there's like rogue Pokemon and wild Pokemon there. So you have to defeat those. And then you can then start building in that location. Uh, a bit harsh on the Pokemon, but uh, that would be an interesting way for the, the game to kind of uh, develop and stuff. Uh, it is your job to secure the areas to help with the expansion, but the evil team try and stop you, as they believe humans are forcing their way into Pokemon ecosystems. It's not really an evil team thing, is it, really? They're just kind of protecting the Pokemon, so for me, it's not really an evil team, unless they're going the wrong way about it. I don't know, but from how this is written, I don't think it, it doesn't sound like evil at all. It sounds like we're the bad guys. Uh, which is why they end up trying to summon Zygarde. So that kind of makes sense as well, because Zygarde is there, obviously, to protect the ecosystem. Um, so if they're trying to summon him because they're like, we can't stop this city from being built. This trainer's going around defeating us all. we got to bring the big boy, Zygarde, and then he'll stop the tra uh, trainer, and then maybe he'll Mega Evolve or whatever. So it would be a cool way to kind of introduce Zygarde into the story. Uh, returning Pokemon include Pidgey, which makes sense because of Mega Pidgeot. Uh, Ninkada, which doesn't really make sense because if abilities aren't in the game, then Shedinja's just going to be pointless because it's going to have one HP. Uh, Mime Jr., Zigzagoon, Patrat to name a few, so that would mean that Patrat and Watchhog return to, uh, well, are finally on the Nintendo Switch, not just in Pokemon Home. But yeah, the, the Shedinja one's a weird one, because if there's no abilities, then it's just a 1 HP pot, which just makes absolutely no sense. Uh, oh, the UI shows that abilities and held items return. Okay, I was gonna say, that'd be really, really weird. Um, yeah, I mean, abilities and items, uh, held items returning in this game, I could see it, because if it is in the future, then why would we be able to have all that in Pokemon X and Y, and then just not like why would abilities disappear so yeah I, I think if it is set in the future i think abilities and held items do make sense and it says the trailer is being dropped the week after the rayquaza event ends so i think that ends on like the 5th of january or something like that um which is it's around that time so I, i'm assuming it's this is like the 5th or the 8th or something like that so it's either week it's either the week commencing the 6th which is a monday or it's a week commencing the 13th when this trailer would drop so one of those weeks which also makes sense, but I feel like it has to be at the start of January as well, because if we get it late January and then we get a trailer late February because of Pokemon Day, they're just way too close. I mean, they're too close together anyway, but if you're going to drop a trailer in January, it kind of has to be at the start. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not the worst rumor in the world. I guess if they were working on this trailer, then they'd be able to know all this information, especially if it was scrapped. Um, it'd be so cool if the scrapped trailer got leaked, though, because um, that's not like... 
leaking the game, but it's leaking the trailer we should have got, so we should have had that information by now. So that's something that, again, it's not going to get leaked because the Terra Leaker is literally gone now. Um, but that is something that if they had hand, if they had their hands on that, that would have been really cool because we should have had that trailer anyway. And then they'll just make a different trailer for January. Um, or they just don't do a January trailer, which isn't even bad. If we got a trailer that was leaked today and then we didn't get the trailer in January, it's not an issue because we're then getting a trailer in February for the Pokemon Presents. So I don't know. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like the worst rumor, but I'm still... Uh, I'm still not believing it because, you know, it's, it's probably it's probably just piggybacking off what Ridley has said. But either way, let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know your thoughts on the Nintendo Switch 2 leaks. Are you going to be picking one up as, straight, as soon as possible? And then also, do you think we were, uh, we were going to get a Pokemon Presents, but it was cancelled? But yeah, let me know your thoughts on all that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and until next time, peace.